Today I'm going to show you how to use FST to seal large openings and ducts. First of all, measure the conduit and then cut some quarter inch plywood to one inch smaller than the opening. Then find out where you need to notch the plywood so you can fit in the pipes and conduits. Then drill holes into it and install bolts into the one piece of the plywood so the bolts are sticking out at least five inches. Also attach nuts on those bolts so that they are three inches away from the plywood for your second piece of wood. Now you're ready to install dams. First of all place them in there and they'll wrap foam around the outer edge. Then find, get some foam and around the conduits to keep the FST from seeping out. The foam must be tucked in so it sticks out less than a half inch from the plywood. You're ready to install the second piece of wood. First of all put on the washers on the bolts and then install the second piece of plywood. Then secure it into place with another washer and nuts. Now repeat the process that you did before by wrapping the foam around the outer edge of the pl plywood, not pushing it in over an inch past the plywood, and then around the conduits, leaving a small opening on the top to inject the FST. Now you're ready to install the FST. Inject half of one cartridge and then let wait for five minutes. You will see some FST seeping out. That is not a problem. Repeat adding a half a cartridge. When you have one cartridge left, inject the total amount of that last cartridge into the area. Then plug the hole where you've been filling with another piece of foam and let it rise. Now your FST seal is complete. For more information, contact American Polywater.